What's up, y'all? Just wanted to show you around my budget KA that I just got installed last night. Um, this manifold has to go first off because I don't have enough clearance for the brake booster. Um, so we'll get that figured. I already have the new uh, manifold ordered. I ordered it literally 20 minutes ago. Um, Got to finish the intake manifold, just figure out all the hose routing, stuff like that. Um, I also didn't realize when you buy ID1050 injectors, um, can't, I think it was, yeah, throttle is who I bought them from, but I didn't realize when you change the uh, color, it changes the inlet size. So I am waiting on my exchange of 14 millimeter injectors. I'll actually fit this thing, um, that I can get the fuel rail on and all that. Uh, this is a coil unplug conversion. Nice time racing is who made this kit. And I got their oil cap too, and then I'll have their distributor cover also once I get a distributor in. Um, but really, the manifold, distributor, and starter, and maybe like an IAT intake air temperature sensor um, for the Link ECU, and possibly a few other sensors. Um, I know I'll, I'll at least need the uh, the oxygen sensor for the can lambda that I'm running on the Link ECU, so um, definitely get that ordered today too. Uh, I'm using the Z1 turbo feed kit. Um, it just tees off of the oil filter housing right here. Um, pressure sensor here. I don't know if I'll change this. The plug on the wiring specialties harness looks a little different, um, but it tees it off so you still have the sensor and then your line can run right up by the oil filter housing and luck it doesn't look very long on the website at all but uh the hose is actually long enough to where you can get it behind the head like i have mine routed or like i will have mine routed that's how i routed it when i had the turbo on so i know it's long enough but this will basically pass through just like that and it'll come right behind the head up to feed the turbo right there. Um, might have to get a little crafty with it with the new manifold just because the new manifold is moving the turbo up a decent chunk. So, um, just to get some more brake booster clearance, I think that's what I'm gonna need to do. I don't, I didn't have a choice but to order the manifold, but hopefully this line will still still reach. Um, yeah, I mean, it's routed about as efficiently as it can be. So, we will see. Hopefully I don't have to go over the head or whatever. Or maybe I'll have to, have to extend it. We'll find out. I'm not worried about that. Um, got the bong on the oil pan right before the engine came in. Didn't just put a 10 a 90 pointing straight up. And then... On the turbo, I've got a just a straight down 10 a.m. Uh, I'm using a vibrant return bracket um, with some nice time racing <laughs> bolts on there. Uh, all the hardware on this engine is nice time racing, also. It's like all the valve cover stuff, front covers, uh, these turbo studs, these manifold studs. Um, I'm using their manifold bolts. I was using those manifold bolts to hold the flange on the turbo, and I was using the manifold bolts to uh, hold the bottom half of the manifold. I didn't realize when I ordered them that they don't fit the stock manifold, so I was able to use them for lots of other things. So, still ended up being okay. Um, I did end up having to make my own bolt kit for the manifold, which wasn't too hard. I just took the manifold itself into Ace and kind of sized them up figured out what will work exactly right and it's kind of what I went with I've got a Mishimoto radiator um, people like to talk shit about Mishimoto I've never had an issue at least so far um, I'm gonna have to get this bumper off and get an intercooler in there and I do still need to take care of that battery tray disaster uh, which I'll probably get knocked out today if I can Yeah, cars a little bit 
fugly compared to the engine. The engine looks pretty nice. And it's a wiring specialties harness. Um, it's an ATI super damper on the engine too. There's the bottom half of the intake manifold. And I'm using like a, the EGR Delete. And there's my fuel rail. I got some NGK plugs. Uh, I got an FPR and fuel line kit. Uh, this is the tube that goes in the intake manifold. Got to figure some of that out still. And then this is the uh, sub harness from Wiring Specialties that actually adapts to the chassis. I bought the ECU and the harness together. So uh, I got a universal harness from the guy I bought it from. So I had to buy the uh, adapter harness to actually make it work with the S13 chassis. But there's that. It's a Link Storm X. And this is what I got. This giant plug goes into the harness. And then this white plug plugs into the chassis. And that's what will adapt it to the uh, to the single cam chassis. This is originally a single cam car. So, yeah, getting it figured out slowly but surely. Hopefully, we can make a lot of progress this week. Hopefully, we can get that manifold in this week. Get that all set up and done. Um, and then this side of the engine will be pretty much good to go. Uh, and then uh, it'll just be intake manifold stuff, some vacuum routing. Uh, that's a wiring and sensors tune, but it's really all I can think of at this point. Um, I'm going to need to run and get some bolts for the transmission mount. I just have some bolts kind of shoved in there right now holding it up, but yeah, it's just kind of odds and ends here and there, but we're getting there. Uh, this is my first video ever on this channel, so if you want to check out this project, please subscribe. Uh, I'll try to keep posting a lot more. And hopefully this thing should make some good power. Uh, I actually never mentioned the uh, engine specs. It's a 90 millimeter bore with Wiseco 9 to 1 pistons and eagle rods. Uh, it's got like a micro polished crank um, with ACL rod and main bearings. And uh, the head has kind of a mystery. I got it from a machine shop that used to build a lot of 240 heads for one of the drift teams around here. And... They have no idea what's in it, neither do I, so just kind of going to see what happens there. Um, got a pretty good deal on it, <laughs> which is why I went for it, but it's been prepped and everything, so it's, it's all done right. Uh, using a Kometic head gasket, and yeah, we're really getting there. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.